My name is Dan. Today I'm going to talk to you about my life as an amputee. I broke my leg at school, aged 10, while I was playing. I was living a normal life before I broke my leg. Since then I have broke it eight times. I once broke it just by walking in the supermarket. In 2012 the doctor said he could try and mend it, but it could carry on breaking. So after the eighth break, I decided to have it cut off. My family helped me make the decision, but it was my final decision. I felt happy but worried about the operation. The doctor talked about the pros and cons of keeping my leg. I knew it would stop me doing things if it kept breaking. A lady gave me advice what it's like to be an amputee. This was useful. I was able to look at prosthetic legs in Sally Oak. I was nervous before the operation, so they gave me tablets to keep me calm. Before I went in for the operation, doctor joked about which leg he was amputating. <laughs> Lucky enough, I knew it was joking. I do get bad days sometimes. I used to get down, but not so much now. After the operation, I felt glad it was done and relieved. I get phantom limb syndrome sometimes. This feels strange, like my legs and toes are still there. Every day they have struggles, and the skin breaks off, I have to take it easy. Sometimes people stare at me, and this bothers me. It makes me feel sad and angry. I'd rather people ask what happened rather than stare at me. When I first broke my leg, people called me peg leg at school and this made me upset. I tried to remember that there are people worse off than me and believe things happen for a reason. There were some struggles when I get tired and I limp and people tend to stray when I wear shorts. This doesn't stop me though. Now I don't have to worry about my leg breaking anymore. I have peace of mind. I now live on my own. It's giving me more independence. I'll go shopping. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Have a good day, won't you? Thank you. Travel alone. And play pool. I couldn't do these things before. My advice to anyone in that situation is not to be afraid. Think about something that you like to do that you can't do now and could if you had the amputation.